let me show you how to do some easy GPU overclocking. This is the MSI RTX 5080 Supreme. One of the big boy GPUs of the 50 series. First, let's knock this out the way. If your GPU has a silent or gaming switch, just go ahead and put that to gaming. Turn your PC off first and, and then flip the switch though, please. MSI Afterburner is the software we're gonna be utilizing. It's free, just go ahead and download it. In this video, we're only gonna adjust two numbers. The first being the core clock, the second being the memory clock. Don't worry about anything else right now. You can get a lot of performance by just adjusting these two. Type in 100 here and 100 there, and then run some benchmarks. If they all passed, then go ahead and bump up your core clock to maybe 200, and your memory clock maybe 300. So do it in 100 increments. Your memory clock will probably go a lot higher than your core clock in the end. 3D Mark is a favorite of mine on Steam to check for stability. And for the benchmarks, just read the description to see exactly what it's testing. 4K gaming, you know, lightweight PCs, ray tracing. Now the main workflow for overclocking is this. You run all of these benchmarks with your base profile, stock settings, right? Then start to do your overclocks, take screenshots comparing the two, in base versus your new results because you've been overclocking. And then if there's perfect stability, no issues, Go back to MSI Afterburner and start upping those clock numbers. 100 increments, perfectly fine. When you start to get crashes, instability, bring it back down some and maybe do 25 increments. And I definitely like to keep my old data. Like this is the graphic score for an RTX 3090. And then this is the graphic score for this MSI 5080 Supreme. So yeah, that's kind of a big jump right there. And if you're into video editing or some type of production workloads, you can go to the Puget Systems website, download their benchmark specific to say DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, whatever application you're looking for benchmarks on. You also wanna be able to monitor your system along the way as well. And for that, I'd like to rely on Hardware Info 64. It is a free software, just go ahead and download it. And it gives you all kinds of great information on your system. Like here, you know, CPU temperatures, obviously, and voltages and just like all the data you're gonna want on your RAM and your NVMe drives. And more specifically, in this example, your GPU. How hot is your GPU getting? So this is the maximum temperatures, this is the minimum, averages, all that good stuff. So if you wanna see some of my overclocking results on the MSI RTX 5080 Supreme, go ahead and see my very last video. And I thought it was interesting because there's a lot of headroom on this 5080, and I think a lot of 5080s also have a lot of headroom as well. So I'm continuing all of my testing and just basically stay tuned for future videos because I have more 5080s and 5090s to test and kind of show you guys some cool features about them.